Hey, welcome back to Roddy's Airsoft. Today we're coming from Hilltop Airsoft. It is a cracking day. Myself and Mark decided we'd get out of uh, indoor filming. It's just too nice. So today we're going to look at an item of clothing that is a must-have for summer airsofting. This is the U-Back style combat shirt from Helicontex.com. Now, Mark is wearing it in OD green, and I'm wearing it in the Polish camo, but they do come in a number of other colours. Um, when you get into the summertime, we have a huge problem with overheating. It's about 17, 18 degrees now, and it's only about half nine in the morning. By the time games get going up here, uh, people are going to be sweating a huge amount. So you need to keep something very light on you, but something that's also going to protect you somewhat. Now, most people rock out with a vest system like Mark's wearing here. This is a simple chest rig from Warrior. And um, the great thing about it is this protects a lot of the body anyway, both back and front. If you're going to get a ding from a pellet, it's usually going to happen around the arm area, because that's what's hanging out while you're playing, or it'll be up here on the chest. Now in fairness, if you get a chest hit, you're going to be fine. Most of the rig is going to cover it. You can actually expand this chest panel up if you're really worried about getting hit, because uh, it will hurt. The fabric on the body piece is very, very fine. Um, and it's very, very figure-hugging, so it's not such a great look for us older fellas who don't have exactly a svelte figure. But do you know what? It will keep you sort of um, not overheating too much. The great thing about the body, uh, the arm part here, uh, is the fact that it's a much thicker canvassy material. And that's what's going to take the hit of the pellet most of the time anyway. So. Uh, with the BBs hitting this, it doesn't tend to sting too much. Now the configuration of these has changed a little bit. Myself and Mark also have the Camogrom version of this, which is a couple of seasons old now, and has worked out brilliantly for both of us. The configuration of this has slightly changed the arms. Mark actually noticed it first when he put it on. He said, you know what, the arms have changed. They're not as big and not as baggy. So I'm gonna let Mark explain what he's found uh, is slightly different in the new style of combat shirt from Helicon. Yeah, so as Jerry says, I mean, absolutely a key item of apparel when you're playing in warm weather, right? Just, I'm not exactly a small guy. As soon as I start moving in airsoft, I'm sweating. That's why something like a U-Bax is absolutely crucial to me maintaining my correct body temperature. And yeah, the material on the body is nice and light. It makes it easier to move around. You don't sweat as much, but you have the protection when you need it. And it was one of the first things I noticed, actually, when I put on the, the U-Bax. The arms are far more snug, right? On, on the, the camogram I've been wearing for a couple of years, the arms are a little bit baggy, you know, it's sometimes a bit cumbersome getting away a bit, but these are far more snug, far more, you can't say figure hugging because it's on your arm, but they fit where they need to fit, and it just makes a lot more sense. Um, you still have the full range of movement, so it's not affecting you in any way, not restricting you in any way, but there's no excess material, which I think is great. Uh, still includes the um, integrated elbow pads, which some may look and think, oh, why do you need them? When you're on your belly crawling through forest or you're leaning up against a wall, these things are invaluable. That's why we always wear elbow pads and totally knee agree. pads as well. And the great thing about, you know, a lot of these sort of separate elbow pads that you might buy that just strap on you, they slip and fall off. These are fixed in place. And the great thing is, if you don't want them, they just pull straight out. You can actually remove them very simply from the system if you don't need them. Just going to run through a few points about the system has this very, very high collar here, which you can wear it up or down. We tend to always wear it up because it does protect your neck from getting a hit on the neck. And let's face it, if you've played airsoft at all, you know that's a sore place to, to take a whack. It has a Velcro real, real estate as per usual. It also has a zippy pocket just here, which allows you to put any bits and pieces uh, that you might need for the day's skirmishing. Yeah, I throw my keys and my inhaler in there, so they're always to hand. Coming down, as I said, Mark said, you've got the uh, elbow pads built in. You have Velcro cuffs on the uh, on the wrist, which allows you sort of uh, set it to your own configuration. It also contains a little front pocket here for bits and pieces, whatever you need. Um, and that's it. It has the zip at the front, which allows you, as I said, you know, you can put it down for more ventilation, or you can wear it up, whichever suits you. But uh, they're really, really comfortable, and a lot of airsoft as we play uh, with in the arenas here that we uh, we go shooting with, they all seem to be wearing these. Once the, the summer sort of heats up a little bit and it gets a bit warm, they all kick out on these because they're just so much more effective mm -hmm. for letting perspiration out the body. Because if you're just wearing this in a rig, 
is you, you don't tend to overheat as much. The downside, as I said, is if you do get a ding anywhere where this light material is, you'll know about it. But at least you'll know to shout your hits out. So uh, that's it from Helicon. It's a quick look at the combat shirt. For, you know, it's a superb piece. They're not expensive, and you know, this time of year, they really, you know, you know. As a side note, Mark says when you're down on your belly and you're crawling through vegetation, this time of year you're going to get a lot of brambles. You're going to get a lot of stuff that's going to really stick into you. That material on the arms, it's superb for taking away any of the... Yeah, it's the same sort of uh, heavy ripstop material that you'll find in some of the other shirts that Helicon make and I haven't had a single problem with uh, the Cameragram Ubax I've been wearing for a couple of years. I tend to wear it exclusively. The only time I'd wear anything heavier is in winter. So, you know, spring through to uh, to autumn I wear my Ubax and it's just been invaluable. And um, now that I have this for a slightly revised version, skinnier arms, the rest of it looks pretty much the same. I'm gonna wear this. It, it, I cannot overstate how valuable these things are in warm weather. Yeah, you might not think you look great in it, you know, if you're carrying a few extra pounds like I am, but once you put your rig on and everything, it's all good. So this Thanks, has been Audi's Airsoft, and we're going to talk soon. Cheers, guys.